Hey church, uh, we're just going to take a quick few minutes here and explain how to use the new application uh, for volunteering called Elvanto. Uh, many of you are already uh, well immersed into this platform, uh, but if you're still having trouble just understanding a few things or knowing how to navigate around the new application, uh, I'm just going to take this uh, next few minutes just to explain some really important features of this app uh, that you need to know how to use to get involved with volunteering. All right, so Let's get right into it. Uh, at the home page, when you first open up the app, it'll very likely be on the home page. Might be on the last place you had open, but usually it will be on the home page here. And right away at the very top, if you have been scheduled uh, for some upcoming events that you have not responded to yet, it will show up at the top. So right here, uh, you'll see upcoming schedule requests and you can uh, just go ahead and click on that little green respond to request button and that is will bring you to the spot where you'll be able to uh, accept or decline those services. So why don't we just go ahead and do that right away. Um, respond to requests. Uh, so here you'll see a list of different services or you may have multiple requests from the same service depending on if you're volunteering in different types of positions at the same time. Uh, but whatever you're volunteering for, this is where you'll see it. Uh, so you can hit the little accept, uh, green accept button or the red decline button if you know you can't make it. Um, and if you do decide uh, that you're not going to be available uh, for a certain service, so why don't we go ahead and click decline. Uh, it will allow you to uh, swap and find a volunteer to swap with you, uh, maybe uh, find a replacement, or just straight up decline and notify your leader. Um, now we do ask that if you do uh, swap, find your own replacement, or you contact somebody or decline, whatever it is, if you've changed anything about the status of it uh, that's not a confirm or an accept rather, uh, please also just go ahead and send a text message or email to your team leader. It's important that they know um, uh, separately from the app as well uh, for something like that, just in case uh, it's, especially if it's like an upcoming service that's really close, it's important just to let them know uh, that you have changed something. Okay, so let's just close this and let's just accept a couple of these service requests here. Um, I'm going to leave one of them uh, not accepted just so I can show you some things later. Uh, now let's go ahead and click on the top left. You'll see a little hamburger menu uh, right here. Uh, that is called a hamburger menu uh, with the three little lines. So let's just click on that and we are going to click on roster. All right. So go ahead and click. Whoops. Go ahead and click on roster here. And here is another space in the application that will show you upcoming schedule requests. So if you uh, didn't accept all your requests or you got a new one coming in, you can also respond to them in this window as well. Um, but if you have already confirmed uh, some upcoming services, um, it will all show here. Uh, actually, it even shows you stuff you haven't confirmed yet. Um, so you can see right here it says that we're scheduled for Sunday, March 5th, and March 12th. So you can see those two different services right there. Um, and this is just a great place to just remind yourself of all the different upcoming services that you've already responded to. Now, in this same window, before we move on to something else, if you're wanting to look at some services that you uh, aren't scheduled for, uh, you can actually hit the little blue change button over here. So let's just go ahead and hit that right now. And right now it's selected under my schedule. Uh, so this will only show you stuff that you're scheduled for. But if you're just wanting to look at all upcoming services, just click upcoming services and it will change it to that mode. So now you can see everything from cleaning team, Sunday morning services, prayer, um, everything that is on here. Uh, so if you keep scrolling uh, through, let's just say you wanted to check a future date because you know you won't be away and you want to see who else is volunteering there so you can know who you could possibly switch with. Uh, you can go ahead and just click on a service. So let's just click on a Sunday morning service here. So if we go to volunteers, you can see all the different volunteers that are scheduled in uh, Elvanto here. So you can see that Pastor Jay is leading acoustic guitar. Uh, you can see all these different people here. So if you're not on some of these teams, you may not have some of these windows show up. But for whatever uh, volunteer team you are a part of, that section will definitely show up here. 
So you can go ahead and take a look at it. So if, for example, uh, you're in children's ministry and you're wanting to see who else is on the team that day, uh, you can go ahead and take a look and see, oh, I can see that uh, Elaine Page is in the toddler teacher class. Uh, maybe I can see if she could switch with me or something like that. So this is a great place uh, to be able to look at all of that. Uh, let's just look at another section here. So if we go back to the home page, uh, you'll still see the upcoming schedules if you haven't responded to everything. But if you scroll down, uh, you'll see a list of all the upcoming services. So these are the next few events at Antioch that are coming up. Uh, so this is kind of an area where you can kind of just get information about stuff at Antioch. Uh, so if you even click, if you notice at the very bottom there, it'll say uh, full calendar view. Um, let's go ahead and click on that. Now, this will show you a few different options. You can go by day, by week, by month. Uh, month is probably the one that most of you are going to want to use here. Um, but you can actually just go ahead and click through different months and see what is happening at Antioch in the future. And this just kind of gives you that wide open calendar view uh, to just give you a better idea. And anything where you see a little colored dot, uh, you can go ahead and click on that. So let's just go ahead and click on the 19th of February and it'll just show you that it's a Sunday service. And it'll just kind of give you the starting time and different information uh, about that event. Uh, let's check out another section here. If you are part of our worship team, now all of you may not see this, but if you're part of our worship team, uh, you can go to the songs button here. Let's click on that. And this is going to be the place where you're going to find all the music. So any sheet music, uh, lyrics, um, chord charts, everything like that is all going to be here uh, for all the different songs that we do at Antioch on a regular basis. And uh, the last little area I'm going to show you here is unavailability. So if we click on unavailability here, uh, you can actually blank out some uh, upcoming dates. So if you know you're going to be away on vacation uh, for a certain period of time and you don't want to be scheduled, uh, you can go ahead and uh, get ahead of the game a little bit and put it right in here. And this will kind of let your team leaders know that when they go to click on your name to schedule for your position, it'll let them know that you've already blocked out that time. So they know not to put you into that space if they haven't already. So to do that, uh, you simply just scroll down just a little bit where you, see where you see submit availability. So let's just go ahead and do one here. Let's just pick a start date. Uh, let's just say we're going to be on vacation from Sunday the 22nd. And let's go all the way. Whoops. Let's go uh, scroll up a little bit here. Let's go into February 19th. Why not? Uh, so we are going to be on vacation from all that time. That would be amazing. And we're going to hit uh, submit. You can also hit add if you'd like to add another block of time that you know you'll be away for. You can do it all in one go. Uh, but you can even uh, in the little reason section here, you can say why. So you could just say vacation and you can just hit submit. And that will submit your uh, uh, unavailability time for that space. And that's it. You can scroll down at the bottom and you can see that right there. And that is it. I believe I've covered all the main areas of this application. If you ever have any questions on how to use this app, uh, you can talk with your team leaders or uh, Miss Karen in the office or even myself. And we'll do our best to try to help you out in understanding how to navigate this app. All right. So thank you guys. Uh, for watching this little video. I hope it was helpful and we'll see you at church.